Yeah, how's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome to a Hearthstone No Project Zomboid playthrough. Uh, basically, I'm going to do a quick how-to series for Project Zomboid. Uh, it's a game that I've enjoyed playing in the past, and it has a rather steep learning curve, so I'm just going to go through a few basic things for it. And then based on, uh, yeah, if you want to see more, then we can look at doing like a full survival Let's Play based on that. Um, so I'm just going to run you through a survival, uh, how to get started, controls, etc, etc. So playing survival, going to delete that old game. And we'll start a new one. Uh, West Point, so there's two towns to pick. West Point tends to be a more inner city, lots of shops, etc. Uh, Mildrow, I'm not quite sure how to say that, in Kentucky, um, is more a suburban area. So I do prefer to play this one. Uh, look, really don't, the character doesn't really matter, but the gnome does, so we're going to make sure it's happy days still. And apparently I am going to be a lovely lady here, this sounds fantastic. Now we better represent the gents here. Here we go. Happy days, because it's very important what your character is named, I'm sure. Alrighty, um, now the game is still in early access so there's a bit being developed for it still. Um, all you really need to know is that the occupation gives you different traits. Some of them work, some of them don't. Uh, check the wiki for a full list of what does and doesn't. The main one I pick is the construction worker. Uh, you can barricade quicker and here's the main one, thick skinned. Um, less chance of scratches or bites, breaking the skin. So based on this game, if you get scratched or bitten by a zombie, uh, you can develop uh, this zombie disease sort of thing, and it's not curable in this game. So sometimes a scratch can be a death sentence for your character. Um, so you really need to be careful. Um, so I usually play that no matter what. Uh, occasionally you just get unlucky and a zombie jumps out of nowhere, so thick skin can save you, especially if you're quite a bit into your game. Alright, traits. Again, some work, some don't. Um, without going into the ins and outs of everything, basically I pick Stout and I pick Lucky. Uh, Stout lets you carry more um, and you do a lot of looting in this game. I just realised my character is bare chested. Happy days. <laughs> and Lucky means it, on average you might be less likely to be scratched and find more stuff. Okay, so to counter that you have to take negative traits. Uh, the ones that have little effect on the game is Light Drinker, uh, Short Tempered, uh, that'll be implemented with uh, NPCs which are not up and running just yet, and Brooding, again, uh, that can be easily countered with meds in the game. So, points are back to zero, we're good to play. The premise of it is that it's you're not supposed to win, if that makes sense to you, like the game is supposed to be about how your character has died, um, so I guess it's like, you know, say the zombie apocalypse broke out, you know, obviously everyone has their different stories in it and this is supposedly yours, and it's not supposed to end happy. <laughs> um, now they could easily achieve that by an increasing difficulty through the game, um, which is there, but as it stands now, you can actually get to a point of self-sufficiency. Um, but anyway, more on that later. So, uh, this cute little fella pops up. He just shows you a few basic things. Um, you can read that in your own time if you wish. Okay, so, here we are. Uh, typical on your keyboard, WASD, uh, a la Minecraft or most other games to move around. Left-clicking on objects opens them up. And that's pretty much it, and right-clicking things brings up a context menu. Uh, most controls are smart commanded, so if you left-click on a door it will open most of the time. Now without going into too much detail, there's a few key items you need in this game to get started. And before you do much of any looting, you need to find a backpack. Or something to put stuff in, so school bag, perfect. And if you right click objects, it gives you, like in the real world, commands to do. The thing about backpacks is you can actually wear them on your back. And if you notice there, it says its weight reduction is 60. So what it actually 
does is for all the items you're carrying around, it reduces their weight. Oh my gosh, we're finding amazing items here. Um, I may even make this first house my home base a duffel bag as well. This is just wow. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, just a really good starting house. Okay, if you've played this a bit, this is pretty good fine straight off the bat. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to equip the baseball bat in one hand. We're going to unequip the backpack. And we're actually going to equip the duffel bag, which is a stronger backpack on our back. Uh, when I say stronger, it just has more storage and more item capacity. And what you can actually do with the second item is equip it in your second hand. And that's why I'm only one-handing the baseball bat. Now, items, see how the sheets have 0.8 of a weight capacity, if you put them in the backpack it actually reduces that. The reason I grabbed sheets first off is you actually need to, zombies have a line of sight and can see through windows. So you really, whoops, you don't want to let them see you, quite simply. So you put sheets over the windows, it's very uh, survival sort of thing, I like it. Now if there is curtains up already you can just close them. Now the fact I found two backpacks straight off the uh, straight off the bat here means I'll probably use this as my starting house. Um, now when you get started, uh, generally I throw all the useless items out because if you think about it, oh whoa, zombie seen me. Okay, you hold control to ready your weapon and left click to attack. Um, that was an impromptu <laughs> tutorial on fighting. I didn't think there was going to be a zombie out there. So basically I'm going to use the zombie as a bit of a garbage bin for stuff I don't really want. So get rid of all that. Cool. And don't need the candle. Beautiful. And back in our house. So we got one more sheet. Yep. Okay, done. And we'll just make sure this. Okay, I need one more sheet for this window. Sleeping tablets. Actually, I'll leave that like a medicine cabinet. Okay. So, pretty good starting house. I'm quite happy with this. Oh, close those ones. Okay, so. So without exploring every little nook and cranny in the house, I'm actually going to get out while it's daytime. There's no penalty to exploring during the night. The zombies don't get stronger or anything, but uh, your vision is reduced. And basically noise travels further at night, I suppose, because there's less uh, residual noise. Okay, uh, you'll notice um, I'm readying my weapon while I'm walking. So I'm actually holding control to sneak. So sneaking and readying your weapon are a tandem uh, command, I suppose. You actually make less noise when you're sneaking like this. So zombies can't see you as easy. You might notice my experience over on the left here just went up a few points. Uh, because I'm sneaking, I'm actually gaining experience in that skill. So I'm going to left click the door. Most houses are locked up. Oh, whoops. Most houses are locked, but if you try the window for long enough, they usually open. You can smash them uh, just by attacking them. But obviously that makes noise, which you don't want to do. Now notice how the zombie disappears when you turn your back from it. Or turn your back on it, rather. Uh, the game uses line of sight a lot. Noise and line of sight, um, which I kind of like. It's very realistic. So if you're not looking at something, of course you can't see it. Um, which is kind of good. The zombies seem to have good hearing in this game. So if you go around smashing everything, uh, they're probably going to find you. Uh, you hold the E button to climb through a window. Now whenever you jump in a house to search it, um, I recommend you, before you do any looting whatsoever, have a good look around because uh, the previous occupants, occupants may be inside 
And I'm gonna give you a hint, they're probably zombies. And when I say probably, I mean they are zombies. At this stage in the game. Okay, house is clear. So when you're first having a quick lose around... Oh, did I find a second? No, no. Whoops. Duh. <laughs> okay, when you're first losing, you're looking for food. A lot of items in this game are junky items, like I don't need a skirt. Unless you really want my male character to wear a skirt. Uh, I need more sheets for my house. Uh, golf club's another weapon. So notice how if you click the bags, that's where you're putting your loot. So try and put it in your backpacks because that reduces the weight you're carrying. Uh, there's nothing in here. If you right click, see how it's saying I'm slightly thirsty up here? If you right click a water source, you can drink out of it. Uh, there's more efficient ways to quench your thirst in this game, which I'll show you as we go. Um, grabbing a lot of stuff, and some of it I'll actually talk about later. So I'm just doing a really quick search the first house, get the main house set up, show you a few of the commands. Okay, uh, I'm grabbing books and magazines because they're useful for learning skills later. And just general magazines are good for monitoring your mental health. Yes, you have to monitor your mental health in this game. Which is understandable, if you're in zombie apocalypse, you know, you're probably going to freak out a bit. Uh, rolling pins actually make good weapons, strangely enough. Well, not strangely enough, they're blunt and they're hard. <laughs> of course they're going to hurt stuff. Um, so you sort of, if you can either click on the, the units exactly, like the benches, or you can see a little menu over here, shows you what you're near. It's a blue, oh, hammer, straight up. This is one of the key items in the game, the hammer. I'm going to take two just because they're there. Not that because I really need them. And in the fridge, see how there's a blue... Ah, uh, I guess a hue over them? Uh, some items need to be refrigerated. And if they're not, they actually go bad. So, and there's a worm. Which are sh you can do fishing in this game, I haven't explored that yet. Alright, uh, there's a lot of stuff I want. So if you click this loot all button, now, as you can see, it just takes it all out for you. Nice and quick and handy. Okay. Um, little clue, I leave doors open once I've explored a place. So when you're backtracking back and forth, it makes it just a lot quicker to, you know, see what you've done. Okay, so I'll just go around, make sure I've got sheets on all the windows. Oops. Oh, there's a sheet in here. To have any items interact with the world, you have to have them in your... This cardboard box is like what your character is carrying. So you can't actually use things unless your character has them in their... In their hands, I suppose. Is the best way I can say that. Okay, so I've kind of got it all covered up. Uh, you can't do anything about the glass window in the door, but I don't think zombies can see through it, which is handy. Now, um, just another early thing when you're setting up your house, I tend to use one place for certain objects. So for example, in this bookshelf, obviously you're going to put books. Now I know that seems obvious, but uh, when you play this game, there's quite a bit of inventory management, and if you can keep it if you can play quite organised, it makes it a lot easier on yourself. So I might make this cupboard on the end here a weapons cupboard. You can use the hammer as a weapon, but please don't. It's a really useful item you need. So just going to put any spare weapons in this wardrobe. And yes, I don't know why you have to put the bullets in one at a time. Hopefully they program around that. <laughs> Okay, so in the kitchen, let's get start getting this sorted out. Let's put our frozen stuff in here. Um, the blue haze has gone off the items because they've come out of the fridge. And uh, they need to be re-refrigerated re to get that buff again, I suppose. Um, the only reason I'm... I know... After you've played a while, you know which items need to be refrigerated. Okay, 
So what we might do is go through all the cupboards and quickly get rid of the junk out of them. So yes, there's a few junk items that you don't need, like butter knives, for example. So I'm just going to loot all, get everything out, and then make designate cupboards here. So just loot, 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 loot. Sort it out. Yep, that's empty, that's empty. A dish tower, no, don't need that. Okay, so, let's see. Alright, so I've just got everything out. Some of this I'm just going to throw away, and some of it will be useful. Okay, first thing, water. So, I haven't found a water bottle yet. Um, so, you can just, like, use... You can just drink out of the taps yourself. It's not very efficient, but it works. If you've got the bowls and pots in your in your character holding part of the cardboard box, you can actually fill them. Now, what I love about this game, it's got a really cool feature. Well, it makes the game hard, but it, it is cool. Um, actually, after a while in the game, the utility starts to shut off. So the water shuts down eventually, and so does the electricity. So you, you can see it's lit up inside, like there's... You walk into rooms, it's kind of light, even though I've got curtains over all the windows. So there is power on, so the fridge is refrigerating, blah, blah, blah. Now, after... Oh, I don't know, it's anywhere between two weeks to a month of the game time. So we're on our first day here. The actual water in that starts to shut off. Which really gives that game that sense of, uh, I don't know, I guess helplessness that, you know, you really are having to survive here. So, sorry, just finishing my point. So, any containers you find, fill them with water and put them in a, a cupboard and start saving them up. Because once the water's out, <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. And there's stuff you can do later in the game, but I'm not going to bombard you with too much stuff here. Okay, so another cupboard we're going to fill with long life food. So food that doesn't need to be refrigerated. And can opener stuff. So coffees, long life food. And I didn't actually get too much food here. Alright, so you can find cans of soup and stuff. A cereal, obviously you can just eat that dry. Coffee. Okay, in this one we're going to make this a tool drawer. Tool drawer? could make the other half of the cupboard that. So, in this drawer we're going to put tools, so things like hammers. Uh, the garbage bags are used to make rain collector barrels later in the game. So yeah, I was just talking about water running out, so catch some rain. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, and that's pretty much it for the tools at the moment. So I'll put some more bullets in here, one at a time, <laughs> because apparently this character is OCD. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I know it's a condition. Okay, uh, and most of this other stuff, I'll make this a gardening cabinet. Okay, so I've got some seeds. So you can do gardening in this game too. So that's all junk. You can shift click, shift left click, left -click to select multiple items. And yes, it is very slow. Realistic, I suppose, so if zombies are chasing you, you can't really just manage your inventory. Alright, I'll chuck the rolling pins in the weapon cupboard. I'll probably find better stuff, but just in case. And that's pretty much the end of the first day here, so... Uh, you can sleep in the beds, and it usually takes about... <laughs> and just on cue. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock at night. Interestingly, in this game, it's good to follow a sleeping pattern. So you sleep during the night and you're awake during the day. Um, so you just right click the bed and then left click the context menu to sleep. My character's getting bored probably after four hours of managing the cupboards. <laughs> I can understand that. So, uh, so we'll just have a sleep. And you can see the time sort of ticks by. Character obviously gets more hungry so all your gauges are still going. You can manage your inventory while you're asleep, but obviously you're not going to get anything major done in the 20 seconds or so you're sleeping. Whoops, I accidentally used the scroll wheel while I was asleep. Okay, so your character wakes up at pretty random times. Um, never go to sleep if a zombie's attacking your house. They will break in while you're asleep. 
And that's not good. Ooh, it's gonna start raining. I love the invite weather effects in this game, it's very cool. Alright, so what I'll do is pop outside. Oh, it's started raining. Uh, you can get wet in the game, and you probably think, yeah, big deal. Um, if you get wet, you can actually get like a cold sort of thing, and it can make you sneeze. Um, now, obviously, if you're trying to sneak around and avoid zombies and you're sneezing, uh, that's a really good way to get their attention. So, you don't want to do that. Okay, at first, um, when all the power's on, it's good to eat your perishable food first. So things like apples, lettuce, stuff like that. Uh, just like in real life, you can't eat raw meat. So you need to cook it, and that'll be another video. I'll show you how to cook food. So, there you go. That's pretty much the first day of the shirtless adventure of happy days here. Um, we've got two good backpacks, a weapon. I've showed you how to secure a safe house. We've gone over basic commands. And next game, probably what I'll do is skip bits and pieces. Sometimes you just need to do a bit of searching to find the items. So for example, you need to find a, like a trowel, which is like a little spade to do gardening. So sometimes you find it in the next house you go in. Sometimes it takes like 100 houses, literally. So I may skip some of the searching in between videos and just do like how-to vids. But uh, yeah, I hope this was a good introduction for you. Leave a comment, let me know what you want to see more of. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this and want to see more Project Zomboid. Alright. Oh, and just before I run away, my character's bored. If you grab a magazine and have a quick read, your character will get rid of the bored buff and the magazine disintegrates or whatever. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next video. Bye. Stay happy.